What's up everybody, this is Maddie Mo, and today we're gonna be talking about quantum dot TVs. This year's the TV buzzword is quantum dots, and it was really apparent during CES 2015. So let's find out exactly what's so great about it. So here's the thing, Quantum Dots is not some new technology, and in fact it's been around since 1982, which was originally discovered by Bell Labs. Now, when you're buying a new TV with Quantum Dots, it's still technically an LCD TV. Now, I'm not gonna go full nerd and tell you exactly how it works, but I'm going to explain why it's a great addition to new TVs. But first, we have to go back in LCD history for just a little bit. Originally, LCD TVs use a fluorescent tube for backlighting, and that backlight would pass through the pixels on the screen through a filter and become whatever color that was required. Now fast forward to the majority of TVs today that use LED technology, and you have a new type of backlighting that uses less power, reduces the amount of heat that the TV produces, and offers the ability to make TVs really, really, really thin. These LED backlights would produce a blue light instead of a white light. But the problem with the blue lighting is that it wasn't as vibrant, and the blacks tended to be very, very, very bright. So that's why you see a lot of TVs that say local dimming on top of it. What that local dimming does is allow the blacks to be blacker. Now let's fast forward back to today and around quantum dots. And we have a new way to help get LCD TVs to produce colors that are closer to plasma and OLED TVs. So what are quantum dots exactly? Well, quantum dots are these light emitting nanocrystals that absorb light from one wavelength and convert it to another. These crystals would be added in front of that backlight layer on an LED TV. And they would help produce a richer white light that was closer to the colors on an actual color spectrum. These colors would be a lot more accurate and would represent colors that would be produced on a plasma or an OLED TV. So most of you are probably thinking, why don't I just go buy a plasma or an OLED TV? And most video files or home theater enthusiasts who do have one are hanging on to them with their dear lives, as they produce amazing colors. But the problem is manufacturers have completely stopped making plasmas. And the reason being is because they're bigger, heavier, and tend to produce or consume a lot more power. OLED on the other hand, which stands for organic light emitting diodes, is just way too expensive right now. And LG is really the only company that's actually creating them. To buy an OLED TV, you're looking anywhere from $3,500 for a really small OLED OLED TV all the way up to $30,000 to $40,000 for a bigger size. Don't get me wrong, they're amazing TVs and they actually don't need backlighting. Each pixel is able to produce whatever color is required, giving you the most amazing color detail. So what you see is what you really get with OLED TVs. But they're still really expensive to make and we probably won't see cheap OLED TVs for quite some time. So here's the bottom line. You'll get better picture with quantum dot technology and most of the high-end TVs that are coming out this year will be incorporating quantum dots into their LCD TVs. But it'll be a lot more expensive, which may be wise for you to wait a little while for the prices to come down. Now obviously they're not gonna be all that expensive, but of course with any new technology that's getting incorporated, it obviously is gonna be a little bit more expensive. So anyways guys, that is my explanation of quantum dot technology. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up as it will help my channel. Also, if you haven't subscribed, please feel free to do so and I'll see you guys in the next one.